We sent in the U.S. Marshals. Took 15 minutes, it was over. 15 minutes, it was over. We got him. They knew who he was. They didn't want to arrest him. And 15 minutes, that ended. Anyway, but then they called themselves peaceful protesters. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United States, the leader of the free world, the man who's literally responsible for upholding the Constitution, just said it took them 15 minutes, they knew who he was, and they shot him because they didn't feel like arresting him. Just ignored the Constitution and said it's okay to shoot a political dissident because you don't want to arrest them. He wink winked and was like, yeah, that's totally, look what we did. We, we, we killed someone and we're calling it good without a fair trial, without bringing him in. And before someone comes into my comment section and is like, well, he was shooting at the cops and well, he committed murder and he's, you know, he's bad because he's Antifa. First off, he was self-proclaimed Antifa. I cannot state this highly enough. Antifa was not is not and was not ever an actual organization. It is a thought process. It is anti-fascist. If you are against fascists, which for your Trump supporter, you are for fascism. So, but if you are anti-fascist, you're Antifa. Second, the president of the United States, the leader of the free world, should not, under any circumstances, be encouraging the cops to murder people. I don't care what they did. They are entitled to, by the Constitution of this country, they are entitled to a fair trial. Entitled to. It is their constitutionally given right. So are we just going to throw out the Constitution? Because y'all are all for the Constitution. Are we just throwing it out now and just killing whoever we want? That is not how this works. Just because he was someone who, he was a murderer, doesn't mean we get to murder him in return. He is entitled to a fair trial. I do not agree with what he did. I do not see the evidence in which he said self-defense. Same thing goes for Kyle Rittenhouse. I don't see the justification for either one of those murders. But here's the difference. Kyle Rittenhouse is gonna get a fair trial and was taken in peacefully. This guy, who had a cell phone in his hand and was walking to his car, was was murdered by the, the, the marshal service who deputized some cops and they just went in all cowboy style. This is not, this is not the Midwest. This is not where you can just shoot whoever you don't agree with and the fact that the president of the united states is like yes let's do this let's kill everyone is highly alarming this is a man who went after peaceful protesters in front of the white house so he could have a photo op this is a man who has wanted to militarize and send the military in on its own citizens this is a man who has encouraged police brutality here again, being like, kill them all. <laughs> no, he deserved a fair trial. He deserved to be brought in and he deserved to have whatever justice was going to come to him. Because again, he did kill somebody and I definitely wanted to see him go on trial for it, but I didn't want to see him unjustly murdered by the cops. That is unacceptable. It is unacceptable for the president of the United States to be like, yes. Yes, kill them all in 15 minutes. It's fantastic when we murder people without trial. Yes, let's go consider third world. No, unacceptable. All right, guys, I will see y'all later.